Welcome back to Drinks Made Easy. Today we're taking a look at five shot and cocktail options so that you and your friends can have the best St. Patrick's Day possible, provided you pace yourself. First, we're starting with the Irish flag layered shot. Now, this is a great shot to start your day with if you're feeling extra festive. One word of caution though, a little bit of strong mint flavor goes a long way, so you might only want to have one or two of these because of the creme de menthe. The pancake breakfast is another option if you're not feeling like mint and a fantastic way to start your day. And let's be honest, who doesn't like bacon? Next we have the Irish Mule, a great drink so long as you have either really good ginger beer or some fresh ginger syrup. Now a fun fact of this is it's actually a variation of the Mamie Taylor which came out in the 1890s. It is not a variation of the Moscow Mule, regardless of how much people who love Moscow Mules would love for you to believe. I'm looking at you Becky. Next we have the Guinness Black Russian. Now this is a great option if you're trying to have just a little bit of beer but you don't want a whole beer or a whole cocktail without that great taste of Guinness. A little less common and something to make you look like you know what you're doing. But don't be surprised if the bartender doesn't know how to make it because it is a little bit of a newer drink. And last but not least, we have the Guinness Cream Soda. Now, this is one of my favorite drinks we've come across in the whole time that we've done Drinks Made Easy. Be careful because these are really flippin' easy to get drunk on because they're so good. Uh, one thing to keep in mind, this is perfect for a house party, but most bars are not gonna carry all these ingredients, so maybe pre-game or end the night with one of these. But again, these are sneaky drinks, so be careful. So there you have it, there's our five options. And please remember to take care of your friends and always pace yourself because it's never acceptable to puke on yourself or shit your pants, unless you're a baby. And even then it's really not that cute. Cheers from Drinks Made Easy.